Let's go into shopping a little more in person. Sure. There's some things, um, I know it's busy time of year, it gets dark a lot earlier. Yes, it does. Um, what kind of things would the police department like to say about going to these establishments in person? Sure, yeah, first thing is you don't need to carry a big wad of cash with you um, because understand that if you lose your credit card, if your credit card gets stolen, you know, there's a lot of protections, um, financial protections that, you know, you won't be responsible for purchases. However, if you lose the cash, it's gone. There's probably mm -hmm. not much that I'm going to be able to do to help you. So avoid carrying large amounts of cash with you when you're out and about shopping. Um, if you're going to be going someplace and it's going to be busy, let's say it's Black Friday or you know a few days before Christmas and you're getting your last minute shopping in um, and you're going to bring your kids or other members of your family with you, just recognize that it's going to be busy. There's going to be a lot of people. You may want to have a plan in place in case you get separated. So you know I'm going to let's if we get separated, let's meet at the front counter or something like that. So everybody knows that you know if some for some reason you lose track of a family member, where to go, where to meet up after that. That's a good point you brought up with young children keeping aware of your surroundings and making sure you're not too distracted. Absolutely, that there's a tendency obviously in these days and age to get distracted, especially when it's real busy like that and with our cell phones and things like that. We need to make sure that we're paying attention to our surroundings, being aware of you know dangers and being aware of where our loved ones are. Okay, and um, you said not carrying big amounts of cash. Um, I know sometimes, I mean, I'm guilty of it too, having a big purse and yep. like having too many items that you're juggling. Um, sometimes that could be a sign that someone could easily kind of I don't want to say pickpocket, but mm -hmm. steal your purse or your belongings when you're not paying attention. Yeah, less is more for sure when you're out shopping. Um, it's easy if you are carrying large bundles of things to get distracted like we were talking about. Um, just make sure that you, I guess, keep it to a minimum. You don't need to have all that stuff with you. And then um, I kind of want to touch on the being out at night a little more yeah. parking and what kind of advice does the police have for that and maybe just being aware of the s possible suspicious people yep. around what can people do if they feel a little unsafe sure if possible bring a buddy with you okay so when you go shopping you know if you're not alone if you've got there's there strength in numbers right so more people with you the better and it's a lot more fun anyways to go shopping with somebody else right and I know that many establishments and even the police department if you need an escort or if you feel unsafe um, that's always available too. Correct? Absolutely, yep. Check with the store first because a lot of times they'll be willing to help you out with that. If they're not and you're on your own and you don't feel safe walking through the parking lot, then just give us a call and when we're available, we'll come and, and give you an escort.